you're still having trouble with your original 3x3x3 Rubik's Cube and that is understandable. So I'm going to teach you how to solve it and this time instead of having it in part 1, part 2, I'm dividing it up into its own separate steps. So before we go on to learn how to solve it, we're going to learn some notation to begin with. So the side up here on the top is the t is the upside. The side down here is the downside. This side here is the left and this side over here is the right. The side that faces you is the front and the side in the back is the back side. So and in this tutorial as well we're going to be using things called algorithms and they might sound a bit scary and weird and whatever but it's just moves that will put the cube into a position but without messing up any of the sides. So here's some basic algorithms. The, if I set up, it means you twist this side, sorry, like that. If I say U prime, twist the upside the other way. If I say left, you twist the left side here towards you. And L prime is the same just away from you. If I say R, it means you twist the right side away from you. R prime is towards you. If I say down, it means you twist the down side like that. D prime is the same, just the other way. And F would be like that and F prime would be like that and you don't need to worry about the back face we're not going to be using that in this tutorial so if you understood all that then you can move on and get ready to learn how to solve it so when you are ready to move on that's brilliant just click the annotation you see